back to, to let's tie this back in. What is an action potential exactly? I don't care about the proteins, let's just say a possibility to violate it. Lots of sodium, not much sodium, right? That's why we say this is. That's my resting potential, yeah? Across the cell membrane. If you ever hear me say the word potential, action potential, resting potential, threshold potential, hyperpolarizing potential, depolarizing potential, graded potentials, receptor potentials, excitatory postsynaptic potentials, inhibitory postsynaptic potentials. Anytime we say the word potential, we have to be talking about the cell membrane. Because that's what exhibits the potential, right? Because how do you measure it? You measure it by the amount of charge difference across the membrane. So all of these electrical things, don't they all travel along the membrane, if you will. It is a property of the membrane. So it spreads down through here. Sodium in, 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 until it hits here. Calcium channel open. Calcium and sodium are coming in, right? So if we were to measure the potential here, because all this calcium in, was even getting stronger, that doesn't matter, but that's what would happen. But then what does the calcium do? Interferes with, or changes, the affinity, and you get docking. Okay. Now... Would we be expected to have these voltage-gated calcium channels down here? What would be the point? Right? What's not in here? Neurotransmitters. Right? So, there would be no significance of having it right here, calcium channel right here. It would only cost me energy in the long run because if I let a lot of calcium come in here, what do I got to do with it eventually? Pump it back out. So why do we have them here? Well, because I need them here to trigger exocytosis. Is that okay? Okay. How do I stop the release of the neurotransmitter? Repolarize the membrane. Sodium potassium pump to store resting potential. Voltage-gated calcium channels closed, pump the calcium back out. It takes ATP to do that, absolutely, but, I mean, you know, I'll do it there. There's no point in doing it here. Okay with that? So what do you think? Action potentials, are they expensive to produce and energetically costly? What do you think? You should say without a question... <coughs> Yes, one third of your entire energy budget a day goes to maintaining resting membrane potential. Sodium potassium pump, remember I said that a long time ago? So why do you have to maintain a resting membrane potential? So you can have action potentials. If you don't have a resting potential, you can't get an action potential. If you're not, you know, if you're just at zero to start with, you're at zero, you're having any potential. Does that make sense?